Hey y'all, it's Michelle. So I just wanted to start this while I'm getting ready. Um, because if I don't start it now, I won't get, get this video started. But for me, the Weight Watchers Freestyle program started today. Now I found out about it, of course, last Sunday when the program officially started off for those who had a Sunday um, weigh-in day. And I was very, um, I don't know, suspicious. I didn't initially like the sounds of the program. Um, I just, um, it just didn't sit right with me. Um, number one, I guess I just don't like the big business part of Weight Watchers. And it, it is a big business, so it's foolish of me to not like that part of it. But just the fact that every, you know, two or three years they change their program because they come out, they've done more studies and they've, you know, determined that, um, you know, everything that they did before, uh, it's not quite the best, but this program is the best. It's like they do that every so many years, kick things, you know, shake things up and get some new revenue flowing. And But that's just the business side of it that just doesn't sit right with me because I was successful um, doing the exchange program many, many moons ago. And um, I kind of faltered when Weight Watchers switched to the their very first points-based system. It was... Weight Watchers points one two three points one two three I think was the name of it. Don't quote me on that. But anyway, business part of it aside, um, I do think that this program will work. I did not go to my meeting this week, uh, this morning, and actually I haven't gone to a meeting um, since I had to to do my um, weigh in to maintain my um, lifetime status, which was in October, I think. So I have not done an official weigh-in. I've been weighing it at home, of course, regularly. And as of this morning, I'm actually up three pounds. Um, I know why, so it's just a matter of me, um, you know, making my adjustments, which is gonna be a little clouded because I'm now starting in the new program. But I'm, I'm sure all will be well with it. So this morning, um, I was pretty happy because what I came up with for breakfast was only one point. I did um, half a chicken breast, boneless skinless chicken breast. My sister and I actually split it. Um, two poached eggs, pico de gallo, olive, black olives, and a half tablespoon of cheese, which was the only thing that I counted, uh, which was one point. So, and I'm very full because, you know, all that protein will keep you full, will make you full, and I think I will be very satisfied um, until it's um, a reasonable hour for me to have um, my lunch slash dinner with, that I usually have on the weekend. So, you know, so far so good. Um, you know, it's only been one meal into it, <laughs> but I'm already, you know, brainstorming some different things I can do, and, you know, I'm excited about, you know, all of these new zero point free foods, um, excited slash suspicious. <laughs> um, you know, because they are, you know, high protein items, you know, beans and, you know, chicken and eggs, it's not like I feel like I can overeat on these foods, but it's just my nature to be um, suspicious of change. <laughs> just being honest, um, just that little slight resistance to change when what I was doing was working. Um, when I heard that they were changing the program, I even considered just getting off of the program and continuing what I was doing on my own. But, you know, I've done that before and that's where I failed. Just being honest, because when I, I spoke about the fact that I was on the exchange program many years ago, well, when they switched to points, I just could not bond with that program, the first points program, I couldn't do it. I just could not make the change. And I was still trying to do the exchange program, um, but of course they weren't supporting that program, so they wouldn't answer any questions. They would not engage in any dialogue or discussion about it because they had moved on. <laughs> so I just said, okay, I'm gonna just do it on my own then. And that's when I started to you know, gain the weight back. The, the weight just crept back on me because I actually do need, even if I'm not going to a meeting regularly, I do need that um, semi-regular support or that, you know, knowing that I am going to have to go and get on an official scale. Um, I know I can go to a meeting if I want to. And then just having the app to, um, you know, consult with and just having the 24-hour chat support because I have had to go on and ask questions sometimes about different foods that I didn't understand in the app, didn't understand the points value, and I'll just do that 24-hour chat 
function and within the app or online and so I do need that so I don't feel comfortable you know saying I'm just gonna do something on my own and just not go with the new program so I am making the adjustment starting today today was my official day one and um, I kind of hate that I didn't go to the meeting today, um, which I will try to get a meeting um, in real soon so that I can hear the official dialogue. Like I did read about it, um, you know, in the app and my sister and I discussed it um, because of course she's making the change too. We'll probably, I'll show her shortly because we're about to head out. But so we've discussed it and discussed some changes that, you know, we can make and how, you know, much more flexible this can be. Um, so I'm um, hopeful and positive that it's going to be fine right now. I think we're about to head out to Trader Joe's because um, She found that the Trader Joe's brand turkey sausage or turkey bacon turkey bacon I think is zero points So, you know, it's things like that that you know, we're starting to brainstorm and see you know what we can do to make this doable for us so um all in all, I am excited because my breakfast was so good. So that really helped to get me excited. <laughs> and also, I do think that I do tend to overdo it on the carbs. Um, things like, you know, oatmeal and grits, you know, those things are good. They're good for you. But I do know that for my body and probably, you know, I haven't done any of the research about eating for your blood type and body type and all of that. But I do believe that um, for my body type, I do tend to overdo it on carbs and um, also I'm I suspect that I'm a little gluten intolerant just because of the extreme bloating that I can experience and some of that is what I do see on the scale it, because my points I've been fine points wise um, so when the scale creeps up that I know it's not you know that you know that time of the month I'm not you know going through any hormonal changes or anything um, I think about what I've been eating and I can usually attribute it to that for instance um, week before no last week I think I discovered um, through my sister um, because she's with me for the month she's staying with me and I, I think she's probably spoken about that but um, until her house is ready but um, she introduced me to cream of wheat and I just fell in love with it oh my gosh I was just overdoing it on the cream of wheat I you know I had some you know several mornings and you know my points were fine during those days but I noted noticed that the scale was going up and up and up and I was like so like frustrated because it's like why is the scale creeping up? You know, I'm doing fine points wise There's no reason, you know for my the, for the scale to be up and you know I'd happen to think you know, this is wheat, you know, this is gluten, you know I, I, I had already suspected a gluten intolerance. So I you know, I kind of um, Got away from that and then I started eating um, Grits which is a little bit better, but then yesterday I had um oatmeal and you know it's just some things that I'm doing that I think that even though I'm within points I need to consider other things the, the types of foods that I'm eating so that's the adjustment that I'm making right now and um, just paying attention to my body a little bit more not paying attention solely to points but you know I'm at that um, I'm like a woman of a certain age <laughs> uh, where I need to pay attention to like listen to my body and what it's telling me about the foods that I'm eating so that's where I am. We're about to head out to Trader Joe's and I will show you what we find. This is my one point breakfast, two poached eggs, half a chicken breast, pico de gallo, black olives, and one half tablespoon of shredded I'll cheese. To get my sister's uncut opinion, initial thoughts on the Weight Watchers um, freestyle program. She doesn't know I'm about to record her. Where are you? Oh shoot, <laughs> where are you? Oh, come here. Huh? Come here. Okay. What are your initial thoughts on the Weight Watchers Freestyle Program? Oh, my God. <laughs> on the spot. Right? Um, I really like it. I had actually kind of lost my momentum with um, the program and wasn't tracking anymore um, because I had really kind of met my goal, um, which had its good points and bad points but anyway when this new uh program was introduced i kind of it kind of restarted me mm -hmm. and so now i'm kind of interested in again i'm doing better with tracking i really 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 like the fact that the chicken and the fish uh skinless chicken 
and the fish is zero points because that makes it a lot more realistic in the maintenance phase. You know, because, because you've been you've been doing it how many days now? You, your week started. My week started Tuesday. Okay. So yeah. So, but yeah, I like it a lot. Okay. Okay, Trader Joe's haul. I got my flowers. I like to have fresh flowers, and especially eucalyptus. It smells really good. I got this uh, mala. Malanga Atois. I thought it was Malanga Atois. How do you say this? You took French. Uh-uh. Look at it. That's oh, Malanga. Yeah. That's right. Anyway, it's the um, pepper blend just to go in different things. And then I got this. I'm just going to hold this stuff up because I can't pronounce anything. Melodious blend. Now this I was really excited about because it has green garbanzo beans, red and green lentils with a touch of tomatoes and olive oil. And one cup, it was only one point. So that is really good. Hopefully it um, tastes good. Even if I mix that with some rice or something or just have it with chicken breast or fish, that'll be good. And then I got this um, jasmine rice, which I really like. You just, it's three packs and you just put them in the microwave for I think three minutes and it's really good and then the last thing I got was this multi-grain blend with vegetables uh, it doesn't have a full description but it looks like uh, is that quinoa or what's the other one that's not quinoa <laughs> anyway it's some type of grain um, and vegetables. Now this one though was it's the same as rice because of it's so much of the grain So it was like one point one cup was six points, which is the same as rice so The non food items is I got some a multivitamin Which I have been negligent and taking for a long time now. I got some vitamin D same um, Then some random stuff makeup remover wipes the micellar and uh, they had a, a tr trio pack of hand cream, olive oil, ar argan oil, and kukui no nut oil. I think this was $7.99. And another non-food item is this warm vanilla body butter. Okay, now let's see what's, what's in your haul. Um, I got sweet potatoes. Oh, side note. I just discovered that I like sweet potatoes this week. She made sweet potatoes. Just I mean, plain baked sweet potatoes. Yes, <laughs> baked sweet potatoes. Because I only, I thought I only liked them candied, like candied yams. But she baked them, and then I added cinnamon and a little bit of brown sugar. I didn't even add butter because I didn't think about it until afterwards. But I did that actually the next morning. Had one for breakfast with um, turkey sausage. Actually, it was regular sausage. Anyway, whatever. Anyway, I like sweet potatoes now. Okay, back to her. Okay. Okay, so I got these dried cranberries thinking that they might be better than the craisins because they may be less sugar, but I just did a quick check and this seven points for a fourth a cup. Now, not that I would eat a fourth a cup, but that's a lot. Yeah, a and quarter of a cup is seven. not a lot at all. Well, yeah, but I mean, if you put them on a salad, because that's all yeah, I would do okay. with them, I probably would only do like a tablespoon. And then another item that I know is a lot, let me see. Those are, um, These are candied, candy. um, yeah. You're giving back. You're back Let's see back. what they In the meantime, she got some Malbec, some alkaline oh, water. This is Jade FaceTime. Stop the call. Oh. Okay. Oh, you were looking up the points for those. Did you find it? It was seven points for, let me see, I might have to start over again. Seven points for one ounce. So that's not very really many. Mm -hmm. My bag, some mango chunks that I'm gonna make a smoothie. And then I got strawberries and blueberries for my smoothie. And I'm gonna put that Gladiator uh, Smoothie King um, protein powder in it, which is three points for the protein. And the fruit is, I usually count this fruit because, it, because it's in the bag, it's got sugar in it, so it's not zero points. And then I got the Trader Joe's bacon. This is zero points. Let me show that. Um, 
There aren't very many slices in there. No, it's not. And it, it's good, though. I really like it. Some turkey bacon tastes like cardboard. So one slice is zero points. Right. Okay. Right. And then you can have a boiled egg, which is also zero points, and that's a meal. And then I got alkaline water. I like the alkaline water. That's all I got. Okay, so I just chatted with my best friend and she went to her meeting this morning and she's really excited. Uh, my sister is excited and that is exactly what I need. I need for my troops around me to be excited about this week, <laughs> about starting the new program, the new, new freestyle program. So um, yeah, I think it's gonna be good. Um, yeah, I'm about to figure out dinner here shortly, but it is noon on a Saturday and I have only had one point. Now y'all, <laughs> how do you all feel about that? Oh, I'm gonna insert the picture of my um, breakfast, but I, yeah. So anyway, I'm gonna stop rambling and babbling and the week will speak for itself. I'm going to follow everything to a T, roll over just what's supposed to be rolled over and stay within my points. And um, yes, I will, hopefully have a great report next week if you all have already started which i know you have if you're on the program because i think it's today is the seventh day so everybody it should have rolled out to everybody by now let me know what you think about it how you feel about it and how you're doing on it and what your thoughts are in general for the future of this freestyle program thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next video